Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we are unboxing and reviewing this Bluetooth speaker slash wireless microphone PA system that you can find on Amazon. Now in this case, this one is made by Tonor or Toner, however you want to pronounce it. But uh, anyways, this one goes for $120 on Amazon, which is quite a high price, but I guess we'll find out if it's worth it or not in this video. Uh, not much more to say about it, but uh, let's go ahead and show you around the box. So here on the front, we have a barcode and it kind of says what it is here. Uh, we also have a nice little diagram of what the items look like. Uh, not much more around it. It's a very basic box. But, uh, I mean, it's a box, so it gets the job done. Um, not much more to say about the box, obviously. So, uh, let's get into it. So, cut here. Cut here. And cut over here. i get my exacto knife in there. There we go. Alright. There we go. Flap. And... Get this piece out. There it is. Okay, so uh, let's toss that off this side and pull this out. So this is one of the two microphones included. I'll go ahead and unwrap it in just a few minutes here. Then here we have the other microphone. Put that off, put that off this side. Uh, in here, I assume is your charger slash power brick. By the way, this does have a built-in battery, so that's really cool. Oh yeah, wow. This is like a, a laptop kind of charger. Cool. It's one of those typical ones that you can find on Amazon or anything. Doesn't necessarily have a brand. Uh, and, okay, still stuff here. RCA cables, the headphone jack. And, oh boy. Keeps going. This is to uh, plug into like a USB, micro USB on that end, normal USB on this end. And, uh, okay, a uh, auxiliary cable. And uh, that's it. So let's pull the speaker out. Oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. Wow. There it is. Let's toss this box off to the side. And uh, let's unwrap this. Cut here. Ooh, very nice. Very heavy too. This is pretty cool. Okay. There's all of your controls on the back. Terminals. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. Set this over here. Here you have the instruction manual. And uh, let's go ahead and open up these microphones, which uh, I don't know how, so I'm just going to cut up here. And uh, there it is. So these are, of course, obviously wireless. There's your micro USB plug to charge them, and then a power button. Very cool. Nice uh, weight to it, too. It's not too heavy, not too light. Make, you know, it feels really well. Really well made. It's not made of plastic, that's for sure. And then over here, you have your other microphone. You know what it looks like, so I'm not gonna unwrap it. And then, well, you know what this like, so I'm not gonna unwrap it either. Um, anyway, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is stop the video and test this out and see how it works. All right, so right now I have it all plugged in. Uh, it did come dead, but I've seen that a million times, so I'm not surprised. Uh, so, of course, it's plugged in right now, but it does have a battery built in, so you could unplug that once it's charged. Uh, to turn it on, it's pretty simple. You just put in or press in the power button, turns on, uh, and it will say Bluetooth device is ready to pair. And uh, that's for, of course, if you want to hook it up to your phone or whatever. So, uh, right now I have all the volume down, right? Yeah, all the volume is down. So, when I turn this on, it doesn't, you know, blast out a ton of noise. Um, but let's go ahead and see what happens when we turn this on. So, okay, there we are. Blue light. And... Yeah, this light on the side, whichever one is paired, 
that's pretty cool. Whichever microphone is paired, the little light lights up. So it's, uh, what is this? Microphone B. So let's turn the volume up. And sure enough, it's coming over here. So, okay, cool. Now if we bring that down, yeah, see there, if we bring it down, it goes completely off. What if we bring up mic A? Nothing, yeah, nothing, okay. And then echo, okay, and nothing. Well, that makes sense anyways. All right, let's uh, turn this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this is what it sounds like. The microphone is probably about four inches away from my mouth. Uh, it's about half volume and this is what it sounds like. So let's turn up echo. Okay, hey, 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 hey. Oh yeah, that works very well. Um, all right, this is starting to get annoying since, you know, I could just normally be talking into the camera here, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. All right, and then, yeah, to turn it off. Ooh, maybe not, okay. <laughs> what about holding the power button? Yeah, there we go. So hold the power button for about three seconds, goes off. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what kind of things are back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it here. This is what I'm talking about. Mic A, mic B, echo, and then here's your antennas here. And then you have a USB. You have volume down and skip, and then pause and unpause, and then volume up and skip. Uh, not quite sure what that is. I think that's a line in, but I would have to check. And then here you have your volume button for if you want to use this as a Bluetooth speaker. So, um, very cool. Build quality, uh, I want to say right off the bat, very well, very well built. This is quite heavy, I will say, but um, I mean, you could definitely carry this around all day and not have a problem. Uh, I don't think this is plastic, although it might be, it doesn't feel like plastic at least. It does have a nice texture on it. And then back here, you have your terminals, pretty typical terminals, terminals. You see those everywhere. Uh, and a little baseboard thing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and give this a sound quality test and uh, see how music sounds. All right, so right now it is all paired up to my phone through Bluetooth, it pulls up. You know, it's easy to connect. Uh, and I wanna say right off the bat, uh, whenever there's nothing playing, there is static coming through here. And actually also while stuff is playing, there's still static. It's not too noticeable. You'll definitely get used to it, but I just wanna say that. Um, and while I was giving it my audio quality test, I mean, bass was there. It sounded perfectly fine. I mean, it sounds like a 6.5 inch speaker. That's around, you know, a hundred dollar price range. It's not bad at all. I'm actually very impressed. Uh, tweeters do work, so those aren't fake, like you've seen, you know, very commonly along cheap speakers. Uh, so let's go ahead and give this an uh, audio test. <laughs> the audio quality test and before I go ahead and give my opinions on it I wanted to go ahead and uh, take out the speaker see what the speaker looks like see if it has any branding on it and I also wanted to look inside and see what uh, 
size the battery is, how many milliamps possibly, and just look at how well it's built inside to determine either it's if it's cheap or if it's not. Um, so it's pretty easy to take this off. You have to unscrew the grill and then four more, four more uh, screws holding the speaker. So this is my first time looking inside and uh, let's go ahead and pull it out. All right, so piece, PC Inner, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, anyway, so at least it actually has a brand, uh, not necessarily a, you know, name brand. I've never heard of it, but at least it's an actual brand, so, you know, it isn't really cheap. Um, not very thick, that's for sure. It's a pretty low depth, I believe it's called, a uh, speaker. So nothing too fancy about it, 4 ohms. Uh, and let's go ahead and look in here. Okay, and there's your circuit board. So nothing too special about it. I guess I could uh, stick some sound foam while, you know, while it's open down in there. Make it sound a little bit better. Uh, circuit boards look, you know, pretty normal. I mean, they don't look cheap. They don't look expensive. So, I mean, I probably won't be giving out on you anytime, that's for sure. And you can see back there, there's the terminals. And it goes up to the speaker. All right, so very cool. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and re reassemble this and then give you guys my opinion. All right, so I went ahead and reviewed the footage and I noticed while I was making the video, I was thinking that this thing had a battery. I was completely incorrect and I, I just wanna say sorry about that. I somehow got this and this confused and I thought that had a battery and I thought they, but I just got screwed up there. So um, this only has the battery, this has to always be plugged in. But um, anyway, so beyond that, uh, what do I think of this speaker system? And what do I think of the microphone? Well, first I'm gonna start with the microphone. I think the microphone is great. I mean, it, sound, it seems to have great sound pickup, sound quality, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, build quality is just fine. I really like it. It doesn't feel like it's cheap at all. It actually feels like a very professional, very high quality microphone. Uh, and I'm very impressed with this. I like that it has the battery built in. You know, you could charge it there so it doesn't take AA batteries or anything like that. And uh, I'm just really impressed with the microphone. I'm very surprised about this. Now, what do I think of the speaker system? I think it's pretty decent. Now, for the speaker itself, uh, sound quality while playing music, I I noticed a little bit of like a vibration or something while the bass was going at a certain point in like the song, which is normally not there. Um, now that might be a fault possibly with the speaker or it might just be this one breaking in or it might just be the one that I got. It could be whatever, but um, I don't know. Something tells me it could just be the speaker breaking in because I've, I've seen that on other speaker systems that happening. Um, but overall, I think it works just fine. I mean, it's meant to be like a karaoke kind of Sorry thing. about that. For some reason, my phone camera stopped. Uh, anyway, so as I was saying about this, I think it's great. I mean, it's a karaoke machine, and it works great for that. I mean, you, you plug it in wherever you want, as long as where you're going has an outlet. And uh, it works great as what it's meant for, which is being a karaoke machine. I mean, it's small, it's very portable, it is heavy, but, it, you know, it's not too heavy. I mean, you could pick this up with one hand, no problem. But um, other than that, I'm very happy with it. Now, music-wise, while I was listening to it, you guys might have noticed it too, there was a little bit of a vibration coming from the speaker itself, like, and you could actually hear it which uh, it might just be uh, part of the speaker, you know, breaking in, or it might be a fault with the speaker, or it might just be, you know, the cheaper, the speaker's cheap, and that might be the, the problem. I'm not really sure, but I have seen multiple times uh, with speakers, you know, being new and breaking in, or at least for me, I've seen them kind of have that problem before, but I'm not 100% sure with this. Um, Anyway, so do I recommend it? Yes, I do recommend it. Uh, for, you know, a Bluetooth speaker kind of thing, I don't. But if you really wanted, you know, just a Bluetooth speaker, don't get this. Get, you know, a Bluetooth speaker from Walmart or whatever. 
But um, in this case, for a karaoke machine, I think it works perfectly fine. And um, you know, it has a lot of features. Of course, you could use it as a Bluetooth speaker. You know, it has USB and all the stuff like that. So I'm very happy with this. And then, of course, you could you have your terminals here for stuff. And um, so yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, if you want to go buy one of these, links will be in the description. I hope everybody enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.